Hi everyone, welcome back to TS Talks, hope you're all doing good. Um, in this one I'm just talking about Marcus Rashford. Now first things first, I have to give him a lot of credit um, for all the stuff that he's done throughout this coronavirus pandemic. And you know, I remember at the beginning of this pandemic, the guy in the middle picture at the top, Matt Hancock, he was, you know, quite quick to want to call out um, football players and say, oh, well, they should take pay cuts and they should do this, that and the other. And the reality of it is, is, you know, football players have done more for people of this country than him and most politicians have. That's the reality of it. Um, you know, and Marcus Rashford, you know, has had a campaign in regard to the free um, school meal voucher. And, you know, in regard to this being put in place throughout the summer holidays. And, you know, like I said, first things first, I have to give him a lot of credit for it. Uh, you know, I'm so glad that he was able to get the government to, you know, make a U-turn on this. You know, I'm someone, I had free school meals growing up. And, you know, there's many people that I went to school with that, that had the same. And, you know, regardless, you know, he said that his mum, um, you know, was using this scheme when when he was younger. And obviously his mum used it um, for the five children, um, him being one of them. And, you know, regardless that the fact that he's now on a big wage, you know, of I believe it's around 300k a week at Manchester United, you know, he's, some, he's clear to see that, you know, he hasn't forgotten his roots, you know. He's a human being. Yes, he's a professional footballer, but at the end of the day, he's a human being. And he recalls how much um, that he went through when he was younger. And he's, you know, he's willing to give back, you know. When you see him speaking on the television, he's speaking as a human being, Yes, he's a, you know, like I said, professional footballer playing at, you know, probably one of probably the biggest club in this country and, you know, playing internationally with England. But at the same time, you know, he's a human being. It's the same thing I call out some of these politicians for um, before, because um, when they're doing their press conferences and stuff and the way they talk, it, they do a lot of talking without actually saying anything. But, you know, um, I credit Rashford um immensely for this and you know even when I saw Boris talking about it the other day after the U-turn he was like oh you heard, he only heard of the campaign the day before like surely surely you must have not only heard about it the day before but you know I'm I'm glad that he actually made, made a decision to you know take a U-turn and you know on this and even Rashford is saying now that he doesn't end there we got to look at things to do come September and you know I, I, I totally agree with that Add into that as well, um, Matt Hancock. Now you know he had the audacity to actually refer to Rashford as Daniel Rashford um, when he was talking the other day, and I'm thinking like, let, let's not be silly. You clearly know, know the man's name, and yes, everyone's entitled to to make a mistake and stuff. But you know, I don't know what what you're trying to mistake him for, um, but. It's not it's not a good mistake to make, you know. You know the man's last name, just say his last name. You clearly knew his name, Marcus Rashford, and yet you come with some dumb Daniel Rashford nonsense, you know. Just say his name or just say his surname, you know. But like I said, credit to, to Rashford on this one. Um, I'll be grateful to get your thoughts on it in the comment section below. And if you haven't already done so, go hit that subscribe button now. And I'll catch you next time.